Hey everyone, it's time for another edition of What's In My Purse. I love these videos, I love watching these videos, and I actually enjoy making these videos because it gives me the opportunity to clean up my purse. Before we get started, just a little announcement. Um, the second part of my Entertainment Tonight interview, whatever you want to call it, is going to be on Tuesday, November 19th at 6.30 p.m. I will put all the details um, in the description box, channel, and um, time, date again. And if you don't live in the United States or you don't have access to Entertainment Tonight, they posted the first one um, on the internet, on the Entertainment Tonight website. So I'm sure that they will do the same for this one, or I hope they will anyway. And when I get a link for that, I will uh, tweet it and or Facebook it. So if you're not following me on Twitter or Facebook, that's the best way to find that information. Okay, so... Oh, and that would explain what's going on behind me. They asked me to film a little extra thing about holiday tips, and I wanted to make it holiday-like in the background, so that's why my snowmen are up a little bit earlier than usual. Okay, because right now it is 85 degrees in San Antonio. So, the bag that I am currently carrying pretty much all day, every day, unless I'm going to a special occasion that requires a more formal purse, is my um, Balenciaga... Let me see if I get this right. Balenciaga classic velo bag in rouge cardinal cardinal red and um it's a pretty good size i like a big purse and um it this you can carry on the crook of your arm it really doesn't fit over my shoulder the big reason i got this or wanted this particular bag is because it also has a very long um crossbody strap and a zipper so my husband bought this for me in september as a congratulatory present for um, getting the Pond's uh, appearance spot on Entertainment Tonight. And this was bought specifically so I could take it with me to New York because it's a very great travel bag. So just to give you an idea, um, in the front there's a, oh, and it, this is the aged brass hardware. I chose not to get the gold because I just thought that over time this would be more classic. I don't know. So it has all these little dangly things, which some people hate. I love it has one pocket in the front, and usually what I keep in there is my telephone, but my phone is on the charger. Apparently, I also have a mint from our club and a Wet n' Wild lipstick. This is 902C. I initially hated these lipsticks, but now that I have understood that they are meant to be matte, I actually like them as long as I wear them with a balm underneath. Otherwise, these are quite drying. And that's all there. There's nothing on the back. And then inside this big zippered compartment, there is a zippered compartment inside. And then there's two like kind of open side pockets and they're actually um, absolutely useless. So I don't put anything in the, in the little open flaps, but in the zippered part. And what I like about this bag, by the way, is that it's very understated. Unlike my Louis Vuitton, which are plastered with you know, an emblem that the whole world would recognize. Nowhere on here does this say Balenciaga. Not on the buttons, or not on the zipper, not on the hardware, anywhere. The only place you're gonna find it is right inside there. So, I know what it is, but the whole world doesn't need to know. Well, of course now y'all know, but whatever. Okay, so in this little side pocket, I keep my headphones. This is a Skull Candy case, but the headphones themselves are these the probably the most amazing headphones I've ever owned and the brand name they just I got them in blue I got them on Amazon it's Sen there are the Sennheiser I will put on the information but it's Sennheiser CX215 I did not get the built-in microphone um, or volume control because I just don't like those things I would prefer to talk into the actual phone I use this just so if I'm out and about and I want to watch YouTube videos or listen to music or something that I don't bother people around me. And I will put a link, like I said, I found them on Amazon. I know Best Buy carries them as well, but I love them and I have to hide them because my kids, who actually have very nice headphones of their own, I keep trying to steal mine. I have a pen collection. I have a purple Papermate pen. These are my favorite. This is by Zebra, I believe, and these are the Fine Point, the F301s, and I like them in blue. I hate black pens. That's a strong word. I prefer pens of a color, like blue, purple, green. Um, a Weston pen. I every time we stay at Weston, I steal all the pens I can. I like, I like the Weston pens a lot, like a lot. They're they're skinny and whatever. 
else is in here? Small lipstick collection. This is a YSL Rouge Volupt in the color 29, which is a very bright pink. It's growing on me. Sort of a spontaneous purchase. My new, um, from the VIB sale, this one of the things, the Sephora VIB, <laughs> Sephora VIB sale, I picked up this ridiculously overpriced lip gloss. This is the YSL Golden Gloss in number 10, which I believe is Golden Peony. It has flakes of real gold. It's very pretty. I'll show you. And it kind of smells really good in a weird way. Nothing like traditional lip glosses. And it has a little sweet taste to it. And it lasts a long time. I'm not advocating that you spend $30 on a lip gloss, but if you are so inclined, these are a lot of fun. There's one they make that's like an iridescent, it reminds me of an iridescent snowflake. I really want to get that one, but yeah, I don't know. Another lipstick. This is a favorite of mine. This is the Too Faced Lip Cream in Razzle Dazzle Rose, which looks very similar to the YSL one, but it's not, I promise. That one's more fuchsia hot pink. This is more rose. And then the lipstick I have on, which is L'Oreal Color Riche in 174 Rose Taffeta, which strangely enough is owned by YSL or vice versa, so I didn't plan that, but I have a whole bunch of gold tubed lipsticks in there. And that's it. Okay, now on for the main body. So Kleenex, a 25% off coupon, which I'm going to use soon after I finish filming this video at CVS. Yay. A list of things I needed to pick up at Home Depot, which included surge protectors, key rings, and fire ant um, killer. You don't know what a fire ant is, I suggest Googling it. It's one of the many fun insects you encounter when living in South Texas. They're nasty little boogers. My favorite mints. These are the Icebreaker Frosts in, I don't know, oh, peppermint. I love them. They're kind of textured. And it feels like, I feel like it lasts longer. Oops. Yeah, I did that. Look at that later. My agenda, because I'm one of those crazy people that likes to write things down. So, what's going on this week? I'm working the book fair at my son's middle school. I'm getting my hair done. And I have a bat mitzvah to go to on Saturday. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Okay, so um, I have two wallets. I have my main wallet that you've seen in other videos, and then I wanted a wallet that was slightly smaller so that when I change out to a smaller purse, this one would fit. Now, while I absolutely adore my wallet that I'm about to show you, um, I think you call it a purse in the UK, we call it a wallet in the United States, um, this is still bigger than what I intended, but I certainly am not giving it back. So this is, I don't know which one this is. This is a Mulberry wallet. I think it's the... I don't even want to know. I, I'm not going to hazard a guess. I will find out exactly what this is and put a link in the description box. But it's mulberry and I bought it because it's hot pink. And I just think when you have most of the interiors of your bags are dark and so I wanted a bright color so I could find it. So this is what it looks like and it's still pretty good size. And I love, I love this brass plaque. I love them. And it has, um, you know, places for cards here. I love this. It has pockets and more pockets and more card slots and, um, it's lined with the mulberry little trees. And then I keep my money in here. And then in the front, I keep my business cards in here. So that's that. We've been going to a lot of, I've had to go to a lot of things where I needed a smaller wallet, so I haven't switched it back to um, my Louis Vuitton wallet. Skittles wrapper. May have eaten a Skittles, may have. Halloween was just a couple weeks ago. A hair clip. Okay. Ah! Playoff tickets. My son's high school has made it to the second round of the playoffs for football. Yay! So we went on Friday and we're going again this Friday. Go Rattlers! Another one. A little notebook. This is a little uh, Vera Bradley little, um, so I can just take quick notes if I want to. And the last thing I wrote about was. Oh, I was at a, at a homeowner's meeting and I was taking notes. So this is a birthday present for my 40th birthday. I love it. Oh, 
much else is fun in here? Oh dear, a very mangled, <laughs> I should just throw this out, Walmart brand um, chocolate chip granola bar, which is going into the trash. So, okay, now I have two makeup bags in here because we went out last night to a party and I used a smaller purse, so this had like, my essentials. But normally, and this is a Modella bag, and I got this at Walmart, and I really like it because it has a zipper here and a zipper here. But then I also have this thing that I got at some boutique in a very small town for, I think, $5. So let's go through what I think is essential to have on a night out. There is absolutely nothing in the front pocket. And then inside, I have eye drops. These are the Blink lubricating eye drops for contact wearers. And little thing Advil. The container's old, but I just keep refilling it with more Advil. You just never know when a headache is going to come on. My loved, beloved Stay Matte Press Powder. This one is an 04 Sandstorm. I like it, it gives me a little more color. And with that is a little travel kabuki from Eco Tools. It was part of a holiday set last year, but I think it's still available. A tiny Whittle mirror because the Stay Matte doesn't come with a mirror and it has a, um, a magnifying side and a regular side. I think I got this at CVS. Um, ah! A lipstick. This is Max Syrup. Everyone should own this lipstick. Like, everyone should own this lipstick. This is the most flattering, universal, easy to wear color. Everyone should own this lipstick. What else? Oh. Oh, yes. This is a Min Everyday Minerals brush that I packed with my Bare Minerals bisque. Um, Nur, Nurber XO sent this to me. No, no, she didn't. Who sent this to me? Stacy, the Jules123, sent this to me. Thank you. Well, gave it to me when I met her for the first time. So thank you, Stacy. I love this. And I have some rather stubborn acne left over from my monthly visit. And, um, this covers up textured acne, let's just say. Better than your traditional cream or liquid concealers. A nail file, I got this at Ulta. Has little bees all over it. And I never used this, which was a good thing. The Band-Aid Friction Block that looks like a little deodorant. And you just rub this. If you're wearing a pair of shoes and you think it's gonna start rubbing and rub your skin raw, you can put it on beforehand, which I highly uh, recommend so that it reduces the friction and therefore saves your skin. Once your feet actually start to hurt, it's almost too late. So use this as a preventative if you can. That's all that's in that one. And then, is that it? Yep. And then in this one, what's left is, ah, okay, I am a mom. Wet ones, two packages of wet ones. And, oh, we went to Home Depot today and I made copies of all our keys so I could be sure that my kids had keys and I could give some to my neighbors. So it's my house key, the key to my backyard gates, and my mailbox keys. And lots of keys. I don't need to keep those in there. And the goody hair, you know, the thing that you can twist your hair into a bun. This is always good to have during the hot weather. I probably don't need to have this right now. But you never know when you want to pull your hair out of your face. And that's a cute way to do it. Although there's also this way, which is a little hair elastic that came with a little bun. How cute is that? And everybody, you, of all the things I carry in my purse, other than of course my wallet, my phone, and my keys, this gets used probably the most. You, I cannot tell you how often I need a pair of scissors to cut, obviously to cut something. What else would I need a scissors for? Um, these are just the kid size ones, and they have, I didn't, you know, particularly want them with rainbow peace signs, but that's what I had, and I constantly am using it. Probably the best, I have tried a gajillion hand creams. Now, I have not tried the Laura Mercier hand creams. I have some to hand out for um, Christmas gifts later, and there's one extra, so I haven't tried it yet, though. But from, what's the, the big one from France? Help me having a mine, I can't think. Luxaten, everyone says that one's great. I'm telling you, this True Blue Shea Cashmere Hand Cream from Bath and Body Works is by far the best, the best hand cream there is. It smells amazing, you don't need a lot, and even after you wash your hands, your hands still feel moisturized without feeling greasy. Another must have, you must own that. Go get that. Um, 
a lip liner that I probably never use. This is the, although it's a great lip liner, Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner in, I assume it's nude. It has no name. Perfect Nude. There you go. Well intentioned by putting it in there, but I never use it. Teeny tiny Whittle Stub Concealer that's now too dark for me. NSA. It's the um, Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer. This is my summer color, NSA. My winter color is DEA. Dental floss, you just never know. Always good to have that. Favorite lip balm, Jack Black. Intense therapy lip balm, skin protectant, and sunscreen. It's in the flavor lemon and chamomile, and it has SPF 25. And I'm looking at it, and I'm almost out of it. So I got this at Ulta. It's in the men's section. And then a little... Um, pill container because I should always remember to take my medicine but um, for my thyroid and my B12 and sometimes I forget so I have it in here just in case but I have not actually needed to use any of these so that I think is everything oh nope not everything um, so we changed out the key rings and my beloved Westie keychain that I got from coach is being retired because one of her eyeballs has fallen out, and half of these little sparkly rhinestones have fallen out, and the paint's chipped on the bow, and my husband does not like carrying it when he drives my car. Yes, he has his own set of keys. He prefers to carry mine. Long story. So, I think she's being retired, and there's some... Ran oh, wait, there's more. It's like a bottomless pit. Revlon lip gloss in... Uh, rose petal. Yes. This was a Emily Noel 83 recommendation, and she was spot on. Another great one to have. There is some random change on the bottom. 15 cents. And that is it. So that is now my completely empty. Look how tiny it smooshes up. This is the softest leather. I want a coat made out of this. It's the most amazing, beautiful leather. I picked red because I just felt like it was... A bright, happy color, but it really goes with pretty much everything. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this year's or this season's edition of What's in My Bag. I will probably do a What's in My Evening Bag at some point, but it's just going to be stuff that you see here in smaller containers. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.